Welcome to Economics Explained. We're looking at how markets work and we're going to start with demand. This is almost everything you need to know about demand in three minutes. People want to buy things and that desire we call demand. It's not just wanting something though. Demand is how much of a thing people are willing and able to pay for. Everyone wants a big house. Millions of people want Ferraris. But that desire does not count as demand because most people who want a Ferrari cannot afford one. If Ferraris suddenly dropped in price to $100 each though, a lot more people would be able to buy them, a lot more would be sold, demand would increase. What we always want to know is how much demand is there. The price of a thing is a big influence on how much of it gets bought and the most important to an economist. What else affects how much of a thing a person will buy? Of all the non-price factors, tastes and preferences has the most effect on demand. I like spicy food, my sister doesn't. That's why I buy a lot more sriracha and goji jang than she does. I used to live in Vietnam. When I was there, Burger King opened a bunch of stores and closed them down. Vietnamese people don't like cheeseburgers, so the demand was not there. Price does not have much influence on this. My sister is not going to start buying more sriracha just because it's on sale. The demand for a product is affected not only by its own price, but by the price of everything a person can buy. If one thing gets more expensive, people will buy less of it, so they will have more money to spend on other things. Or, the price of a thing people have to buy could increase, so people have less money to spend on other things. When energy costs rise, people have higher electric bills. They have to cut back, and so demand for non-essential items falls. The more money a person earns, the more they can spend on things they like, and so demand goes up. Economists call these normal goods. But, when your income increases, you buy less of those things that you only bought to save money. These are called inferior goods. I like chicken, I like steak. I tend to buy a lot more chicken than steak because it is much cheaper. If these videos start making me rich though, I will be buying a lot more steak and a lot less chicken. So many factors affect demand, but price works differently to the others. And to show how, we can use a graph. Going along the bottom, the x-axis is the demand for an item and the vertical axis is the price. Income, preferences, the price of other items and other factors are going to change the shape of the line and where it is placed. The price though is going to change where on the line an item is. These demand curves always slope down because the cheaper an item is, the more people will buy. This graph shows the demand for mangoes. When a mango costs $5, people buy this many. But when a mango is only a dollar, people buy this many. Let's say scientists discover that mangoes can cause cancer. Demand will go down. Or scientists discover that mangoes cure cancer. Then demand will increase. In both cases though, demand will go down as the price gets higher.